we're actually looking at um, space accident today. This is kind of like a uh, um, kind of like a puzzle game where you gotta like do certain puzzles, uh, open certain sections of the game, and pretty much try to find your way out. Um, I tried a little bit yesterday, and it's actually it's actually pretty fun. Um, I don't know if they're fully released yet, but uh, it looks like uh, it got got some good graphics and uh, everything. So let's just jump right in. Um, okay. So we start off in this room. Um, looks like it's locked. Let's see. Okay, so from <clears throat> from what I've seen uh, gameplay wise on this, pretty much have like lasers. I don't know if you can see it kind of right there, middle like right outside the window there. It's kind of like canisters. You gotta hit, like kind of bend the laser to light those up. So what's this? Oh, oh, here we go. Oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> Two hours later. So they found the captain dead and this assistant dead. So now we have to find what happened. What now? Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, all right, so I saw this part. You gotta put weight on this. Open that, okay. You gotta grab that. That there. Okay. So open up this area. Leave the barriers right here. Let's see. Oh God. Okay, so it looks like this is kind of empty or just full, and this is filled with something else, maybe like fuel or something. Looks like it. Oh, here we go. All right, so these little things um, apparently refract the lasers that get shot out. We'll just place these in the general area that we're gonna be working in. Okay, so that I'm guessing is the laser that shoots out the, the circular thingy. And then the smaller circle to the right of it uh, switch we got to hit so I believe that's that's what we got to hit notice this over here uh, okay so this one's lit up so we can access that so and I think yellow yes yellow lets us walk through okay get hit that button okay so yellow you can walk through but the laser can't get through and when you turn that off okay yep so the laser can get through and you cannot. Got it. Noted. Right. So as you can see, the uh, the lasers kind of lighten that up, which uh, that's that says it's enabled. That's a really cool, like cloud-looking thing at the bottom. That's really cool. <laughs> okay. So what we got to do is bend the the laser to make it go to this canister and then to this canister as well using these, the, the ball things. So, and you don't get damage if you walk into the laser. So, all right. Okay, drop. All right, so we got that one. Then this one. Aha! All right, so what did that do? Nothing in here, what is this? Nothing? Okay. Alright, so... And I noticed this this popped up when we, we got all three. And, oh, yes. So this, uh... So this switch got turned on when we lit up all three of those. So let's hit that. Okay, so we can walk through here now and access this laser. Uh, Alright, so we turn that on. So we enable this laser for uh, whatever reason that we're going to use that. Let's see. I 
Okay, so we still got the lasers. Uh, actually, let's see. <sighs> this is really tricky. Oh, it's up, Sandraza. What's going on, dude? Yeah, we're checking. Have you ever heard of this game? It's called Space Accident. It's kind of uh, interesting. It's kind of like a puzzle game. To Set this up here. All right, so something tells me that since this one was the second one unlocked, we don't really need the first one, so I'm just gonna turn that one off. Ever heard of it? Let me check, oh! Okay, so this part disappeared, so. All right, um, screw it, let's try. Might, that might work. Try to zap it and make the thing go down. Ah, look at that. I'm so smart. Smart. Look at that. And there we go. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I didn't actually get past this part yesterday, so it's uh, new, <laughs> new to me. So uh, let's see. Let's just go and keep this on there. Now we gotta go so we can just keep that on, but uh, let's see. Test this thing. I'm just gonna bring this with me just just in case. Yeah, I don't like how it's it's so far in front of me. I gotta like <laughs> guide it through with my extendo arms. Okay, so I can't I can't bring that in. Okay. I can walk through. Okay, uh, that's, that's good. Um, hmm. We got another pressure pad thingy that I can makes it where I can walk through that. But I can't. Maybe I can go through here. Some tools. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, checking out a couple games today. Actually. Uh, uh, Chivalry 2 is next up on the list uh, after we <laughs> get as far as we can in this. Um, it was the uh, the medieval like sword fighting game. It's super fun. Let's see. Oh, cool. I got a laptop too. That's cool. All right. What is that? Oh, sweet, we got a box. Oh, what is this? Ooh, okay. Andy, my dear friend, I cannot take this anymore. It's beyond my control. There is one last chance I'm going to do something terrible, but we have to come back home. I hope you find this note before. Don't get caught by the alarm. Get to the engines. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Um. I'm just gonna keep going with my puzzle. Good luck with that. Right. I think it was this way, right? Yes, okay. Cool. Right. Oh wow, that's that's really cool. So wa watch the bottom of the, the airlock there as I get closer. You can see the air kind of wish in. That's really cool. That's a really cool effect. Let's see go and we can walk through now sweet okay um guessing ah more the the cylinder thingies okay we can walk through now no oh. righty can't get that through. Maybe turn this off so we can. Aha! <laughs> just just go and reach through with my 
Invisible arms, sweet. <laughs> Did it. Okay. So now, uh, we gotta somehow get all four of these at the same time. Oh, what the heck? Huh. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> it looks like it's, uh, branched out. I do, I do that. It's fully there, but, huh. I think I might have found a bug. Or maybe that's how it's designed? I don't know. Huh. Okay, well, I'll take it. <laughs> Okay, now, huh, how do I, maybe I can do that the same way I did this. Sorry, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> uh, let's see, maybe I can do the same thing over here. Oh, I had it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, so we got this janky <laughs> laser system. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh sweet. We got another one. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, all right. do this. We can actually double up this and this can add as a weight. Oh, almost. Gah, here we go. Okay, so we needed four of these to be lit up for this to activate. I'm guessing this the door. Yeah, that, that opened. Okay, all right. So that was le like level two, I'm, I'm guessing. It's uh, a... <laughs> I pick this up. It does do that. Okay. So how am I gonna get yeah. hmm. <laughs> Is that doing anything? It's a Breath of the Wild. I haven't seen a lot of gameplay on that. Wow, is that the... Or they have the bandwidth to play already? It's only so many games you can want, you want to try, yep. Dude. Yeah, I have a lot of games that I want to try, but I don't feel like spending $20 for each and every one of them. No. Yeah. Is a uh, uh, so Breath of the Wild? Is that is that the game where like you're the like the girl that runs around and like the whole world is taken over by like mechanical animals and stuff? Is is that? I don't. I'm sorry if that's completely wrong, but. <laughs> It's Zelda? Okay. <laughs> well, that would explain that. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> Don't mind me. Zelda. That explains that. Open world Zelda. Okay. No. That explains I never really got into uh, Zelda either. <laughs> yeah. I, I was the... Uh, Growing up on on video games, I was I was a kid that uh, uh, pretty much just like played Call of Duty. I highly recommend it. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll definitely have to take a look at it because I, I do like uh, open world games like uh, like Skyrim, you know Fallout and stuff like that. So I'll I'll definitely definitely have to check it out because I do take game recommend like recommendations very seriously so this do okay 
Just... Oh, is that holding that door open? Let's see. Aha! Yes, okay. Cool. Alright. So we had a door holder up. Alright. So it looks like we can bring all three or four of those in now. Okay, it's gonna be three then. Right. first for Zelda franchise, but not a linear story. That's good. I'm horrible with stories. <laughs> Do what you want in order to what you want, or not any of it all. Okay. Sequel should be coming out in a year. Cool. <laughs> I do like uh, like non required uh, storylines. That's that's always that's always a plus for me. It's, I like exploring and, and just messing around not having to worry about a specific timeline. Oh. Aha! We did it! Okay. This one. Bam. I, f I really feel like I'm, I'm cheesing this right now. I feel like I'm not supposed to be able to do that, but... You know what? We're just gonna roll with it and keep going. <laughs> Mess it up. Okay, cool. So this is going to be reflected to that. And that's what we can use this one. <laughs> it's not cheese if it works. You're damn right. Oh, had it. Had it. <laughs> hey, there we go. All right, sweet. Hey. As where's the liver right there? It's not cheese if it works, okay? Okay, now. I don't know what this does. as intended. It's a feature. It's not cheese. It's a feature. Back it on it. Get in there. Here we go. Okay, so I can't... I can't cheese that... <laughs> I can't cheese this one through. Alright. I'm gonna get it out of the way there. All right. What does this do? I'm generally not very good at puzzle games, but <laughs> I am missing the cracker for the cheese. Okay, gotta find the cracker. Probably got a cracker. Probably gotta find the cracker. Hey, um. Oh, this is so. This one got messed up. Aha, I just got a nudge it over. Okay. Let's see. see if I can if I can run and make it. Go! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Way too fast. Alright. Uh terrible at puzzles too? Hey. Right in the in the same in the same boat. Same boat. Hmm. Okay, so think it back. To that the, the first one we had to turn the other laser off in order to make that thing happen so maybe that'll make this turn blue or yellow or something one of the ones uh, it, it, it. Come on, shimmy it through there we go okay there we go <laughs> yeah, the, the sides are sticky well <laughs> they 
They forgot to clean the space station, apparently. Um, and okay. So I can walk through. Turn that off. Let's see. What is this? Oh, this is where I came from. Okay. <laughs> uh, and this is my... This is my... What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, this is where my quarters was. Okay. <laughs> um, let's look outside. Oh, it says something about Mars, and that looks like... It kind of looks like Mars is where they're going. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> Maybe it comes through the, the stream very well, but... I can see it in 1440. <laughs> uh, totally not creepy. It's fine. It's fine. We're just on a, a, you know, space station just by yourself, and we have to we find our way to access certain areas of the space. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So that's that's the only thing it changes right there. So you can move that through there. So I think this is what what we need to do is this box is the only one that we can really move. Um, let's see. It emails like crazy. What the heck's going on? Um. Let's see. There has to be something. Maybe we can grab one of these reflector thingies. Maybe we can do this. Okay, so the door stayed open. So now, bring this through. See, here we go, okay. We can move this through. Okay. All right. My brain is smoking right now. <laughs> uh, maybe we can make that work. Oh, but the doors are closed. Shit. Man. All right. Well, since we have that already in there, we can... Since that little column thing is powering this button. We don't need that door open anymore, so we could probably just... Go. Aha! So that, that little thing, he powers this door. So we can... Do this. We can go out here and grab this, and use it as on the pressure plate thingy. Let's try to back in. There we go. Alright. Shimmy it on in there. Okay, I don't know what that did, but... Aha! All right. 